need to understand these ancient sports not just because they're popular, but because they reflect the kind of values that the Japanese themselves hold dear. Though it won't be easy when it comes to sumo. They don't think much of women around here. The rules are quite straightforward. A player loses if he steps out of bounds, or if any part of his body, except his feet, touches the ground. Pushing works. So does pulling, provided you don't step out yourself. Slapping's legal, but no eye gouging, hair pulling, or closed fists. It all comes down to balance. Though I'm told there are a few tricks. You get leverage by grabbing your opponent's loincloth. Don't worry, it's not likely to come off. They tie it on pretty tight. And if it should work loose, then its owner loses automatically. That just can't be comfortable. Nor can this. But sumo wrestlers don't have much choice. Unlike in judo or wrestling, there are no weight categories in sumo, so size is a definite advantage. But clearly not all that extra bulk is fat. Strength training is a big part of their daily routine, though mostly they practice shiko, stomping. It develops balance, flexibility, and strong thighs. It also stamps out bad luck. They're supposed to do it 500 times a day. And they stretch. At least most of them do. They tell me that it's essential to prevent injuries when two human mountains collide, head on, several dozen times a day. The only thing a sumo wrestler seems to be lacking as an athlete is endurance. Most matches last less than 30 seconds, so if they don't win quickly, they tend to run out of steam. But they certainly have discipline. I can't imagine having to do this seven days a week. And most wrestlers sign on at the tender age of 15. Once inside the stable, they get up at 5 a.m. each day to train and won't eat breakfast until well into the afternoon. It's a dirty, sweaty sport, and they're at the mercy of the higher ranks who drive them relentlessly and criticize their every move. I can't help wondering why they do it. Most, they tell me, are from the countryside, this may be their best way out of rural life, a chance at fame and fortune, if they win. But I think there's more to it than that. The very lifestyle that sets them apart from the rest of us binds them together in a close-knit fraternity. And they are living the stuff of legends. Sumo's roots are deeply embedded in both religion and Japanese history. The sport is 2,000 years old. Every inch of the arena is scrubbed daily, and women are still forbidden to touch the sacred clay. While the apprentices finish up their chores, carefully supervised, the elders get their hair done in strict order of seniority. They use a special oil and set it in a special sumo style, similar to what the samurai used to wear in the 17th century. The apprentices aren't allowed to bathe until their elders have been attended to. But what we're all really waiting for is breakfast, the first meal of the day, though by now it's afternoon. It's chanko nabe, sumo stew, made with tofu, onions, cabbage, and chicken in a seaweed kuzome. I'm mortified to find out that guests get fed first. It's sumo etiquette. It's hard to even taste my food while all those hungry giants are waiting patiently for their meal. 
それに賛同しなきゃいけないんだと。When we've all finally finished, the first sumo wrestler digs in. They have to put away an enormous amount of rice in order to gain weight, despite all the exercise they get. At least today's workout is over. For the rest of the afternoon, they get to hang out and rest. <laughs>